I've seen a pretty uh, interesting story pop up. I don't know if you guys saw this, but somehow Afro Man and Young Buck got into a tussle this weekend, and the person that, that was involved with it was Los Sody. Angeles' own Lil Sodi. Now, it's interesting because I know you don't like Lil Sodi, and at I least part of that— you didn't? Nah. I, but just, I think we edited it out of the podcast. Okay, well, you're not supposed yeah, to yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, go ahead with your story. I'll explain me and Saudi's relationship. Let me ask this. Is it fair to say that Young Buck is associated with the 60s? Is that uh, public knowledge? Right now, I, you don't know. Yeah, okay. you probably have to uh, I've ask heard it, it I think rumored. I've seen that before, though. But I've heard it rumored. Know. I've seen pictures of Young Buck hanging out with, uh, you know, various yeah. generals uh, yeah. of that sort or whatever. So that makes it kind of interesting That's to me, what too. I, that was the funny part, though. Now that you got all that over with, yeah. that was crazy because I'm and, like, damn, and, Buck. And Afro Man also is affiliated with 8Trey, and that's yeah. why Lil Sody be moving around with him, to, yeah. or at least that was the beginning of them having a relationship. But apparently Young Buck walks up into the spot, and you can see the video on TMZ. I'm not going to show it right here because I don't want to get copyright claimed or whatever, but apparently he whacked Lil Sody on the belly or yeah. something now we don't know if he just sort of like tapped him on some like cool shit which is kind of weird because I'm not going to touch your belly what no up, matter dude? what yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's but, some little homie shit but you can hear I'm down bro. you can hear them yelling about the fact that he got his belly touched by Young Buck and that that was what sparked this big ass brawl with like 30 people and they were trying to say the Young Buck was drunk or on drugs or whatever his excuse he says that he don't drink and he doesn't do drugs so that's not what this was about at did all did you see him on the stage no did you see him sitting on the stage drunk? I just he seen the backstage video. The yeah. I just seen oh. them chilling in back or fighting in back more specifically. I've never seen the fight video yet. You ain't seen it? I'm going to pull it up right now. Yeah. I haven't seen, seen the fight video. I was looking. I was searching high and dry for that. Lil Sody. Um, so who won, though? Because cause, cause Young Buck wasn't tweeting like he lost. You and can he watch was the like, video. It's NH on mine. You, you know can that. watch the video and you're still going to have no idea who won because it's just. That, yeah. That's Afro Man. Yeah, you see, Afro Man is super yeah. easy to see. <laughs> you should maybe blow this when we uh, pull this back. Oh, that's Sodi. That is Sodi on top of Buck, huh? That's Sodi with because that. Yeah, I can see this way better than I saw it on Twitter this morning. <laughs> no, that's Sodi right there. That's somebody else with, that was whooping oh, his ass okay. with the that dude with the jersey, jersey was a different dude? Oh, yeah. Okay, there's an arrow to young blood. They packed him out. No, no, it was hard. It was hard. It was out of line. It was hard. See, it was even hard. Afro it Man saying it that he hit him too hard. Hey, man, no. That fucked up. He just wanted to do that. That's deeper than this. He was just hollering at you, bro. Don't punch me in my stomach. He just was him, man. He struggled just like you. He's strong. He's strong. He's strong. That's the gist of it. All right, so oh, so he wanted to holler at him. Hey, what up? I mean, we're not Getting sure exactly what kind of belly tap it was. It. He said it's deeper than this. Talk about it. So basically, they saying Saudi got off on him because he's from neighborhood. You think? Why at you the end of the day, from there? At See, that's what day, I was thinking when I heard deeper. deeper than that. I'm yeah. like, what could be deeper about it? Unless they maybe have a, a little bit of a history. But that seems pretty unlikely, I mean, right? Sody used to be with Jeezy. I don't think Jeezy and Buck beef. Not that I know of. I've never heard of it. Yeah. But, you Young Buck, I mean? any problems he has with other people is eclipsed by the fact that his problems with 50 Cent has been like the defining thing of his career. All right? I'm thinking is with the stomach tap, that's like, like honestly, just any time – whether it was you was throwing up some wrong shits and I'm trying to tell you to calm down, bro. Like, chill out. Or that's out of pocket if you're trying to holler at somebody. Uh, uh, like, that's like touching the nigga head. Yeah. Mm. Like, hey, what up? You get what I'm saying? Like, hey, check it out. Like, you get what I'm saying? The stomach tap. I would take it disrespectful, especially from a dude that's frequent with trannies. <laughs> <laughs> I it has that. been rumored. It's I been rumored. That. I mean, that's what I heard. So he it's denies like, it more than anybody yeah, ever. Nigga, rub my stomach, nigga. Why you drunk, nigga? I probably get off too. I ain't GPS. gonna lie, but not, 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 not like that. Not like that. I fuck with Buck, but I'm just trying to see what would go in his head. Cause I don't, but I can only can believe what the dude says, right? Right. If he's your friend. So all right, boom. But 
what's going through this dude from a Trey gangsters that already knows that you affiliate with somebody else you tap them on the stomach you got this history they can play it any way except for game banking mm-hmm. and they still could get they lick because it looked like the person that was on top of them wasn't Sodi. Mm. I mean, it might have just been his mans that was with him that decided that he was going to hop on him. I don't know. Was he from a Trey? I mean, if he's with Afro Man and Sodi on tour, probably yeah, something like that. The, he's at the I'm very saying. least, that's he's with I'm them. Like, that's know? what I'm like, nigga, the tap on the stomach don't have you ground and pounded <laughs> nobody. Like, once he hit the ground, it's like, But, bro, that, you hear him saying here. it right away. Like, you hit me mad hard in the stomach. Like, you know, that, that, he he clearly like felt like that was the thing. I doubt that he like thought up a whole new narrative right yeah, then so in the whole minute. Drunk. He actually like seemed like he was genuinely pissed. If you don't brace your stomach, that much. shit gonna hurt. Yeah, drunk on me doing too much. That's what that was. I'm about to fire on his old ass. I don't fuck with cuz anyway. You hear what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's exactly different that. generations. Weird ass been over you there throwing up all this neighborhood shit exactly. all night. You know that they went nap nap crazy cuz. Like, been throwing up this that. neighborhood ooh, shit ooh, all night. Yeah. I'm about to fire on this nigga. He say anything to me. Young Buckle throw up neighborhood on stage though? It's like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, nah. It's a, in his tweet or in his it, whatever he posted or was it a comment? Did, did it was on one of these things. It was like everybody know where I stand with this shit. Mm. Nh. Da, 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 so they're like, they're trying to not make the gang related part of it necessarily the biggest public narrative, but from behind the scenes, it's, mm. it would be yeah. assumed that that's probably a big factor in all this. Yeah. Wait. So what's your deal with Sodi? So listen, you probably gonna have to come on here and explain the situation. This is the thing, so. bro. I don't got because Sodi and them have reached out. Through okay. very, I got cousins from my, it's right down the street. Uh-huh. You get what I'm saying? That's what people fail to realize. Like all these people, like is right across the street. So if you got family that lives in the area, uh-huh. they can so, easily be. I passed from over the there. forest already. Hold on. Yeah, you <laughs> get, get what I'm saying. So, so I got cousins from over there, and they're proud of their cousin's success. Uh-huh. So they like, hey, the homie trying to, yeah, you know I mean, like, I'm like, it ain't no problem. It's just nigga. I see what he did, like, after Nip died, but have you ever came out and snatched all them little disrespectful videos down from Nipsey that made you viral, that got you to where you at? Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way possible we could do music together because I stand with Nip. And it's like, you didn't start liking Nip till he died. But I know the backstory on that, too. He was reaching out to Nip, trying mm-hmm. to squash everything. Mm-hmm. And then Nip was already like, you did too much. Mm. And I'm way too big to turn back around for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just like, it ain't no ill intent. I mean, I'm from, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on the other side of the tracks. So it ain't nothing like that. But at the end of the day, I'm not doing no content, no music or nothing with you until you come out and really show your respect for Nip. Because you walked on a peace treaty walk. Go ahead, take that shit down. If you a changed man, take that shit down. 